Golden Days is a song about a vanishing love. It's about trying to hold on to the pieces, but it's too late. It's a call, a cry of despair, outstretched hands and many unanswered questions. What have we done? Where have the golden days gone? The beautiful days bathed in love. What has to be done to make them come back? One day, my roommate Carolina, also known as my artistic director and camerawoman in her spare time, showed me this video. In the conceptualization of my video clips, we are always attentive to symbolism and metaphors. We seek minimalism and poetry to say in the form of a metaphor what the lyrics try to express. It's as if we were trying to create a new layer of texture above the sound with a symbolic but explicit image. The heart is the symbol of love. This song is about the loving days, the golden days. It's therefore a heart painted in gold that we chose as the metaphor of the golden days until that same heart ends up black. Metaphor of a dying relationship. We wanted to reproduce this image of walking in the forest but holding my own heart. Well, it was a lamb's heart. I know, it's weird for a vegetarian, but in the name of art, I can do anything. This is where I met the amazing special effects makeup artist, Oho. She already had a scar mold for a project she had done, so she reused it for me. We had to come up with an idea to film this golden heart until it turned black. We thought about a system to allow paint to come out of the heart using a syringe. We wanted a parallel scene to bring some dynamism. We had the idea of glass breaking around me, representing my world falling apart. I made a little storyboard for Dali, who was going to film this clip. And luckily, I found a box full of matching plates and glasses in the street a few days before the shoot. The problem was, it was very difficult to break that glass. We put small stones on the ground to help it break on the floor. The evening ended very late, with glass in my feet. We shot this in 48 hours. It was tight, but we made it. Then it was time for me to edit this clip. So I did a first cut, then a second, then a third, but I was never really satisfied. The different shots didn't quite fit together. I was frustrated. I decided to switch from Premiere Pro to DaVinci to colour grade the video with more ease, confident that with good colour grading everything would be fine. Half a day later, and with the help of Ocean, I finally managed to import the project into DaVinci. I did a first version, then a second, then a third, and I just had to admit that I didn't have the level to succeed in doing a professional job on this clip, and since I am a little perfectionist, I found someone on Fiverr, a site that connects freelancers and clients, to do it for me. He sent me low quality samples to help me find what I really wanted. But after his three versions, I was still just as lost. One evening, after a flatmate dinner meeting, Carolina and I thought it would be better to just change everything to replace these images of the bedroom, too wide, too difficult to incorporate with the other images, with images that I had on my hard drive. And luckily, I had videos shot by Lelu and Momo, two adorable film students. I had acted in one of their projects. So I replaced the images of the bedroom with these images, but also with magnificent drone shots by my friend Gabby. That's it. I felt I was finally getting close to the goal, two months later. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the people who helped me, and more particularly to Carolina, Dali, Aurore, Océane, Lalou and Momo, and Gabby. Thank you so much.